And we are live. Here we are with Robert Whitekelt with EXP for another episode of Whitekelt Wednesday. I got my buddy Andre on. Andre's got a great story, so let's get right into it. Who's Andre? Hey, Robert. Great to see you. Uh, Andre's been a real estate agent for 30 years. This is my 30th year this year. Uh, 19 of those years in upstate New York. Um, got plugged in. Uh, just I was I was a part-time real estate agent in the beginning, working a full-time job. Actually, really full-time agent because I worked nights at the at the full-time job, so I could work two jobs basically. Did that set for seven years. Got my business up to about 40 units a year by myself. Then uh, ended up joining a coaching company, started paying them a lot of money to help us grow a team in the business and follow that system for a long time. And got our my partner and I were doing about 300 units a year in upstate New York. Um, in 2009, that coaching company offered me a position to work with them um, to help them grow their business. So it was my chance to get out of cold weather in New York and move south. So did that in 2009, moved to Atlanta, Georgia, where I live now, uh, was a coach for, for them, uh, helping them grow their, their business from 2009 to about two years ago, a little over two years ago. Um, plan on retiring from that company. At, I, was at, I was 49 at the time, but I saw this EXP business model. And the good Lord told me I had to get back in there selling real estate and, and help uh, help myself and, and other agents on my teams to grow their real estate businesses and not have to charge them for it. And uh, been been really successful doing that. Pretty excited about the opportunity. Well, definitely. God is good. I tell you that. That is a good thing. Well, you know what? It's great to, great to get that background. 30 years in the business. You know, I myself, I've been uh, just celebrated 35 years. Wow. And uh, when I got a chance to be introduced to EXP, you know, I've owned a Remax. I've been in management in Keller Williams. I uh, owned an independent brokerage. We sold it to Colville Banker. But for the large part of my career, I've been an independent. And it was just the same grind over and over and over. And then a good buddy of mine who I know, love and trust, and he's just one of the, my best buddies in, in, in the world. He introduced it to me two years prior to that. And I just said, oh, I mean, I'm an independent. I'm I'm good. And then, uh, I don't know, it just timing is everything. And he, he introduced it to me and it's like a light bulb that went off. It took me seven minutes to say, I'm in, Bec wow. but it took me two years and seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so we sat down again, had a nice coffee. It literally took seven minutes for him to introduce it to me. And my wife, literally, I came back from that meeting. She's all, wow, that must've been a great meeting. I said, I've got goosebumps. I, I, I feel like I love this business again, and it hasn't even started yet. My new, my new Robert 2.0 hasn't even started. Right. And there's so many opportunities to just, I fell back in love with real estate. So that's, that's kind of, to, to your point, it's, you know, we've been in the business a long time. We've seen a lot of things and a lot of our opportunities have come up where we've, uh, you know, we just kind of kept doing our thing. Let's do more deals, more deals, more deals. Yep. But now... We've got so many opportunities. What I'd like to ask you, Andre, if you could, is the three things that matter to you most or that has changed your life the most once you've joined EXP. Um, what, what's in no, no particular order, but what's, give, me, give me three things that the folks watching this can go, wait a second, that sounds like me or that sounds like where I want to be. Well, go ahead and give me those okay. three things. Well, for me, um, it was the it was a revenue share and be able to get passive income coming in monthly um, and being able to leverage uh, that opportunity. I mean, being in real estate this long, we know a lot of agents, right? A lot of really good agents. Um, and like I said, it's just, uh, it can be a grind. I mean, you go from 100 houses a year. Okay, let's do 150. Let's do 200. And then when you build a team and it's about, well, let's help, let's help them build, you know, their businesses. Um, but you got to start all over again. And there's there's nothing to show for it after, after the deal. Right. And with this business, this brilliant business model, um, when you can be in business with your friends, do what you enjoy doing most, whatever that might be. If it's listing, great. If it's coaching, great. If it doesn't matter what it is, but you get to do what you really love doing. Um, and I like, I like coaching and training. I like helping people build businesses. I love building businesses. Um, so I'm now able to you know share this with my friends when they see it, uh, you know, we partner up, we lock arms together, and uh, now I can help them uh, grow their real estate business with, with the coaching and training and the knowledge that we have um, and, and help them bring their business to the next level. And of course, we get paid uh, not from them, but from the company 
um, and all the transactions that they do. So we get uh, that monthly revenue share. Um, and for me, it's already almost at 20,000 a month. So um, before selling a house, so it's, it's, been, it's been pretty nice. So that's, that was the number one thing for me. I saw that as a big opportunity and we're just getting started, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, we're just, we're really getting started. I have over 415 uh, team members in uh, 27 states, four provinces of Canada. We're in India and Mexico already with just my my group and growing like that crazy. So that's that was number one for me. Um, in the beginning, number two wasn't the stock. I just thought, oh, that'd probably just be a bonus um, if it happens. But it's happened, of course, and and I have you know quite a bit of stock that the company's given me for just selling houses and helping the company grow. And I, I just know that's going to be a great retirement uh, addition to the passive income. And then uh, third, I would say it's, it's a collaboration for me. Um, it's just been made, like you said, it's made real estate fun again. We're not just, oh, I got to get up. I got to do this again. Um, it's, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun helping my, from, from brand new agents that are just getting into the business and, help and mentor them and help them get going in real estate um, and knowing what kind of a career they're going to have with, you know, the five different ways that we get stock from the company with the agent equity program and all that and knowing what it's going to do to change your lives. Um, and we're, and I guess that's the fourth one is, is helping changing these, these guys' lives. I got a friend in, in Canada. Uh, he came over, came over and partnered up with me with 10 agents in his company. He had his own independent, had his best year ever, 300 and some units. Uh, with his team, uh, but his son, his son was uh, 25 years old at the time, and he'd been in real estate three years, and the most that he sold was 20 units, which is good for your first three years. He, that was better than me, uh, but his first 12 months in EXP coming, he came to to the uh, Las Vegas event that we had, you know, before COVID, and uh, just got to work. Just he was he was like me, just working hard, and he went from 20 units to 60 in his first year, and had 100 and I think almost $150,000 in stocks and he's 25 years old and he's just getting started. Right. So we're changing people's lives. So that's, that's really probably the, the, another big one for me. Well, you know what, you've hit a lot of really good nuggets and I wrote them down and I, I feel like every time I, I interview great agents like yourself, I, I become a more of a student and I'm taking all these notes and I'm writing this. And sometimes I forget I'm, I'm hosting uh, an interview so thank you so much for these nuggets, but lock arms, that's huge. Everybody thinks, oh, you're a virtual company, so you, you can't collaborate like that. Locking arms is a key, key thing. Uh, you talked about the coaching and the training. I, like I said, I've been in this business 35 years. I've never seen the coaching, the training. We have over 60 hours of training weekly at our fingertips, whatever topic you want to learn, you can dive right in and go into those webinars. You can go into the live sessions and they're all recorded. Um, and it's not just about selling homes. We're changing lives through buyers and sellers, but now we get to change the agent's lives who we know, love, and trust in our industry. And that's, that's something that really strikes a chord with me because I really enjoy the coaching and training. I'm a certified mentor and I really take great pride in the certified mentorship that I'm creating these mentees that are just getting in the business, never written a contract, never taken a listing. And it's just, it's fantastic. And the key, one thing I want to make, mention that I want to highlight what you said, we're getting paid from the company dollar, not from the agent dollar. And that's a game changer, you know, and, and we're making it fun again. That's definitely for sure. I mean, we've had some great events, like you mentioned, Las Vegas, we've been in Cabo, we've been in Scottsdale. We're having such great time with, with, with collaboration of, of, of our different teammates. And it's just, we're having a good time and we're bringing real estate fun again. We're, it was just, and Gene Frederick said it the best. I love it. We're making real estate fun again. So the last thing I wanted to ask you for the agents that are watching this video, what would you like to say to them? The ones that aren't with EXP yet, what's your message to them? My message to them would be don't take two years and seven minutes like yourself. Robert, right? Um, when I, I talk to a lot of friends and a lot of the people um, at these conferences and such and ask them, hey, what? I like to always learn and be a sponge. And I ask, you know, 
what's the one mistake? What's the biggest mistake that you made when you came over to EXP? Um, so we can learn from, from that. What did you do in the transition or whatever? And 99 out of 100 will tell you, uh, I wish I would have joined earlier. I wish I wouldn't have been so laxy daisy about looking at it. I wish I wouldn't have spent, you know, let two years go by before I actually looked at it. So I just tell people, um, have an open mind, you know, yeah. you know, not, most people aren't looking to make a move. They're not looking to make a change. They're happy where they are. Um, and, and if, if two or three agents call you, you know, that's a good thing, right? Um, that's a, that's a feather in your cat basically saying, Hey, yeah. people value you. So they're reaching out to you. And a matter of fact, Robert, no one called me. No, one, no one called me about EXP. Um, I was, it was just time to make a change. Uh, with the uh, with where I was at, so I called a friend, and I didn't even know he was in EXP. I just knew he had a good business, and I was thinking about becoming a um, maybe, maybe a listing agent um, and getting my license again because as a coach, I I wasn't really selling. And he sat down and he showed me the EXP model, right? So I just tell people have an open mind, yeah. just investigate to find out why you should never make a move and stay where you are. Yeah. And, and try to poke holes in the model. And if you just look at it with an open mind um, and get all your questions answered, you're going to be super surprised. Of, and, and you're going to find out why they're calling us Amazon real estate. You're going to find out why there's well over a thousand agents per week, not per month, but per week coming to eXp. I, I think the numbers almost double that now, um, but it's pretty incredible. You got you know to you you be curious. Why yeah. would, all these big heavy hitters and new agents and everywhere's in between, why would they be making a move? And yeah. uh, you'll find out why. I always have this saying, success leaves clues. You mentioned something about a closed mind and I've always had this saying, there's nothing more expensive than a closed mind. So with that said, you've dropped some nuggets here and I really appreciate it. Andre, I tell you, it's, 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 it's a pleasure seeing you again. And I appreciate you being on another episode of White Kelt Wednesday. Thank you so much, my friend. And I will be talking to you real, real soon.